Hi guys, thanks for watching this video today. Now, in order to explain high blood pressure, I want to make sure you first understand what is blood pressure. Well, blood pressure is the force of blood against the walls of the arteries as it moves through the body. Each and every time the heart beats, or contracts, it squeezes the blood that's inside it. This blood then rushes out through a valve in the heart and into the arteries. Arteries are those blood vessels that move blood away from the heart. The blood comes out with a lot of force or pressure. Now blood pressure in general is a good thing. It is what moves the blood through the body supplying oxygen and nutrients essential for life. So when blood is pushed out of the heart during a heartbeat there is pressure exerted on the arteries which forces the arteries to expand. This expansion of the arteries can be felt. It is your pulse. When you check your pulse, you are in fact feeling your arteries expand in response to an increase in blood pressure caused by the heart contracting. This pulse of high blood pressure is known as systolic blood pressure. So let me say this again. Systolic blood pressure is defined as the highest pressure your blood vessels are exposed to during a normal heartbeat. After your heart contracts, it then takes a break for a moment and relaxes. During this relaxation period, it fills up again with blood. At the same time, the arteries shrink back to normal size due to a drop in pressure. This low pressure phase is known as diastolic blood pressure. So diastolic pressure is the lowest pressure the arteries experience as the heart is relaxing. As you can see, the arteries are constantly being punished by the heart. Every time the heart beats, the arteries expand due to the pressure of blood flowing through them. This occurs about 70 times a minute when someone is at rest. During the course of a day, that is a hundred thousand heartbeats. Talk about torture. To make matters worse, if you have high blood pressure, your arteries are stressed out even more because each and every one of those 100,000 heartbeats exposes your arteries to an above normal spike in pressure. Not a good thing. And all the more reason to do everything that you can to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. This brings us to the next question. What is normal blood pressure? First of all, blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, abbreviated MMHG. This term refers to the height to which a column of mercury is raised by an equivalent pressure. Today's blood pressure machines use newer technology to measure blood pressure, but the units of measurement remain the same. Using this measurement, normal blood pressure is anything less than 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. I have seen blood pressure numbers plenty of times, but while I was working on this video, I started to wonder, what exactly does that mean? How does that relate to something I can actually understand? So I started looking at other units of measurements for pressure, and the PSI, pounds per square inch model, seems to make more sense. It is the force in pounds for every square inch of surface area. So let's take a look at it. If you have a pressure of 1 PSI, it is like having a 1 pound weight resting on a single square inch of surface. So let's take a look at how that translates to millimeters of mercury. You have normal pressure systolic at 120 millimeters of mercury that turns out to be equivalent to 2.32 pounds per square inch, or PSI. Imagine your blood vessels have to hold back a force of 2.32 pounds for every square inch of surface area. Well, that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but let's put this in perspective. Think about this. The average human body has about 2,700 square inches of skin covering it. Imagine each and every one of those square inches of skin having to support 2.32 pounds of pressure. That would be about 6,264 total pounds. And your arteries withstand that amount of pressure 100,000 times a day during normal conditions. 
That's absolutely amazing. Okay, back to blood pressure numbers. What happens if one or both of those numbers is higher than the normal? Well, then you may fall into what is known as prehypertension. I can hear you guys now. What is prehypertension? Well, I'm glad you're asking. It is pressure readings between 120 to 139 systolic over 80 to 89 diastolic, and that reading is in millimeters of mercury. This is known as the middle of the road, where your blood pressure is too high to be labeled as normal, and at the same time, it's not high enough to be considered hypertension or high blood pressure. It is a term that came about to indicate that numbers in this range need to be taken seriously because prehypertension if left untreated will usually progress to hypertension so it needs to be treated with lifestyle changes at a minimum and may even need to be treated with medications so now we are at a new stage stage one hypertension that is this is the first stage of high blood pressure and is sometimes referred to as mild high blood pressure now don't let that fool you Anytime your blood pressure is elevated, damage is being done to your body. Stage 1 hypertension is any reading that is between 140 to 159 systolic over 90 to 99 diastolic. And that, again, is millimeters of mercury. Blood pressure in this range is usually treated with medication and lifestyle changes. Next, we have stage 2 hypertension. It is defined as any reading that is 160 over 100 or higher. Stage 2 hypertension is a serious condition and requires aggressive treatment. Doctors will often start people with stage 2 hypertension on two medications at the same time, and that's in addition to those lifestyle changes. Finally, we have blood pressure that is greater than 180 over 110 millimeters of mercury. This stage is called hypertensive crisis, and you can tell just by the name of it that it requires emergency care. Keep in mind that in general, blood pressure will rise over time. Many people will ignore blood pressure that is just a little high. The problem is, even a mild elevation in blood pressure is damaging the body. This damage is slow and progressive and you cannot feel it happening. And since over time blood pressure has a tendency to rise, before you know it, you have progressed to the next stage. Any blood pressure reading above normal should be taken seriously and treated appropriately. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this information in this video, please sign up to our email newsletter to make sure that you don't miss any of these videos. Thank you.